Hey everybody, it's Pastor Steve on the Inner Circle. Hope you're having a great day. I want to talk to you today about uh, the manifest presence of the Lord coming with us wherever we go. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a worship leader at my church. Obviously, that's my focus. It, it's um, it's my job to, to lead people in, into His presence through music every week, and that's awesome and fine and all. But you know, there's a personal aspect um, that even as a worship leader of just seeking the Lord's face and. Um, I've tried to cultivate my heart to always be sensitive to, to where I sense his presence being or his anointing moving. And um, I, a few years ago, I, I, you know, I, I read this passage, uh, you know, exchange between Moses and God, uh, and it just really, really struck me about, the, hey, that's the heart I want to uh, posture myself with. That's the, 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 you know, the way I want to seek the Lord's face. You know I mean, so I want to read that to you real quick. It's from Exodus 33. Uh, it says, uh, we're starting in verse 12. It says this. One day Moses said to the Lord, You've been telling me, take these people up to the promised land, but you haven't told me who you will send with me. You've told me, I know you by name, and I look favorably on you. If it's true that you look favor on me, let me know your ways, so I may understand you more fully and continue to enjoy your favor, and remember that this nation is your own people. The Lord replied, I will go personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. Then Moses said, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will anyone know that you look favorably on me, on me and your people, if you don't go with us? For your presence among us sets your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. Then uh, the Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked, for I look favorably on you, and I know you by name. Um, so, uh, just... Moses says something in there that just, it struck me the first time I read it, and it, it, every time I read it again, I'm like, man, yeah, that's it. He said, your presence that goes with us is what sets us apart. It's what makes us different than everybody else on the earth. And it's so true. I mean, I, I have a friend who um, is really anointed to play the sax, and I, you know, I've really seen God move heavily, and the anointing and the presence of God fall when he plays. Um, and then then he moved to Nashville, and, and he said, you know what, there, there's so many good musicians all over the place down here but the anointing is still rare and because of that he, he, he was asked to play in so many different places in Nashville um, God just opened up doors it's because when, when his presence is even amongst his people and it's, it's sad to say even amongst the church it's it's a rare thing for God's presence to show up um, and and for people to actually encounter him instead of a program uh, of, of just you know certain amount of songs doing doing the sermon and I'm not trying to knock everybody who you know who's not like us all, all I'm saying is you know it, having the manifest presence of God in our services does make us different even amongst other churches um, and and my point is you know that's something that um, uh, our, our pastor here uh, at New Life has has valued enough to, to fight for and um, that's that's why I'm here that that's why um, I'm still at New Life is because it's valued enough to fight for the manifest presence of God to say, hey, it's not a good just to have a feel-good service. We want to have services where we really feel like God showed up and we, we met with Him uh, on a personal level. And um, so that's my heart. I just I, Even after you know all this time of leading worship, I still have to come back to that. And I have to say in my heart, you know, God, if you don't show up in a way um, where we feel like we're personally having an encounter with you, um, we're no different than everybody else and it, it's not different just for the sake of being different that's not the goal but you know if, if there's any way to be set apart that's the way I want to be set apart I want to be known um, as a worship leader and as a church that, that when we go to meet with God he shows up and, and, and people know it so anyway I want to leave that with you guys posture your hearts um, to say I want to meet with God when, when I come to church and it's not okay with me if we just have a feel-good service I want to actually have his manifest presence show up in this place. And I want to be able to say, I met with God when I come to church. Um, set your heart, posture your heart that way when we enter into worship. You know what I mean, don't just kind of sit there, look around, see what's going on. You know, enter in, determine in, determine in your heart and to, to engage and enter in yourself. And your experience of church will be very, very different um, as opposed to not doing that. So I want to encourage you guys with that. Have a great week. I'll see you on Sunday. Come ready to worship. I'll talk to you later. Bye.